Hello everyone, Praise Kuda here, and welcome to yet another project. This one, this one, I'm doing, I'm doing this one blind first off, so this is a blind project, blind playthrough of the game A Story About My Uncle. I did a think fast on this video, on this particular video game a little while ago, so I know some of it, but I do not know all of it. So... Before we even get started, I want to make mention that the developers, or at least the publishers of this game, Coffee Stain Studios, I adore. Because they made both Sanctum and Sanctum 2, both FPS to uh, tower defense crossover games that I love. So, because of such, I fall in love with them. That and their, <laughs> their little uh, adventure with Goat Simulator kind of, kind of left a shining spark in my heart, so to say. But a story about my uncle is going, from what I can tell so far, is more of a story-driven game. And it's a story-driven game kind of like uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. If you have played that game or have watched me play the game, you know that when the story gets involved, it's going to get emotional at times, more than likely. That being said, let's stop with the faffing and go into the game itself. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. Okay. I got it. So, there is going to be dialogue here. I might be quiet throughout the dialogue. I might not be. That's why subtitles are on, just in case I talk over it. Now, with that aside... Oh, with that aside... We are going... <laughs> We are going to change the mouse. Oh my god, yes, we are changing the mouse sensitivity. Help me on this. Oh, oh boy. The wonders of a high DPI mouse, right? I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Oh my goodness. So, I don't have access to running yet. But, I do... Yeah. <laughs> Said... Uh, woo, that is some Italian... Not Italian. Uh, that's not Italian. Uh, Roman. Greek. The hell? Uh, you know what? I might look this up by myself, uh, by myself at some point. But we're gonna pull that up and see if that's actually a video. If it's something bad, I won't even bother with it, or I'll tell you, do not watch this. Oh, hey, Tango Mask. Neat. Daddy's helmet. Da <laughs> oh, I get it. So there's references kind of all over his place. Ooh, you like that? I won't touch it. Anyway. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. That is actually really quiet. I'm going to turn that up. Um, voice volume. Maximum, please. Because we want to hear voices over all else. Huh. It's light noise. Where does it all go? 
Oh I boy! I visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. And this is our main uh, form of uh, well, getting around. Do I make? I was gonna say, do I make clanking noises as I walk? Because that would be a cool touch. Hold on. I know I'm fat for around so much with options, but the uh, the input is just a little too low. There we go. Much better. Can I have that Coke? Looks like a nice Coke. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. Welcome to Fred O... Oh, Fred OS, huh? Fred... Okay, Apple, get on him. He made an OS looks like yours. Is it an Apple II? I think it's an Apple II. <laughs> okay, funny things happen. Touch. Dome? Doors, the door is locked. The dome's open. The door is locked. I... I may have done some, oh, uh, nope, I, I, this is not where I want to be anymore. This is going to end badly. Um. Oh. That was seamless. So I'm doing something a little bit different with this series is... I'm not going to make normal cuts. I'll make cuts in the video where need be, but I'm going to do them in editing. So I'm just doing one solid playthrough unless I stop for on my own volition. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. So yes, um, I'm... This is actually going to be kind of a first where I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to play through this. I'm not going to stop the recording or I'm not going to stop my my vocal audio. I'm just going to play straight through and then in editing I'm going to make uh, cuts and the everything and make goodbyes. protected me from falls on the ground but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Oh good, so I can't swim. Oh my god, help him. <laughs> He's going to do three slam dunks off of one jump. Well, man, got ups. All right, I want to see what's up here, actually. Game's about being curious and, exp and explorative, so. Oh, did I just, like, jiggle off of that? Well, that's bad. Good night, Moon. Really? Whoo! So yeah, I am going to be a little, re I will probably be a little reckless and a little more adventurous than, adventurous than normal. Simply because I have this ability to be, well, I'm a lot. The game kind of wants me to be reckless with this, almost. Okay, I won't go on top of there. <laughs> won't push my luck. Ooh, can you still? I guess it's just a simple way back up in case you don't make the full jump. Yeah, like... Uh... Huh. Oh, so I have to be on... So the power jump, I have to be on the ground in order I to jump. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols. But who? Where were they now? So it's kind of weird that I have a normal jump that lets me jump super high, but I also have... And I also have like a super, a super jump. Hello. Hello. So 
So find more of those to earn unlock. Okay, so I don't know if I'll even go for 100% of those. I guess I'll try. But I'm not going to, like, make it a brain-wrecking instance of if I don't get every collectible, I'm a failure as a person. I'll just, I'm just going to try. That's it. Okay, progress saved. I'm going backwards because that's the thing. Woo! Hello? How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick. But I thought it was all very exciting. See, that's a magical thing. Storytell, st you know, storytelling in games. It's magical. But yeah, there you go. So just like get, this game, I guess this game is gonna let me want to make me be explore explorative. Let's make it a little faster. Uh, well, we know what we're doing here. The fact that right click is like a sprint jump is really perplexing to me. Right click is like a super jump and a sprint jump. And it's just ever so slightly perplexing simply because... I guess there are a lot of games now that have been doing it. Like when I first played this game, I want to say two years ago at this point, when I first opened up this game, like right click to jump wasn't a thing in games. Then again, space to jump wasn't a thing in games until I want to say Half Life. Before then, it, it was before that point, space or uh, jumping games was uh, the F key. If you believe that F is now usually your default melee or default uh, grenade button. I want to explore. <laughs> like this this place is obviously laid out in a do not go here okay you can go here if you're really nosy kind of setup Oop, that is not it. something although I want it to be something I am getting really nosy aren't I <laughs> I don't I actually don't care nope there's nothing up there okay hello Ooh. the power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Ah, uh, yes, the grapple beam. So, this was, this is a odd little pop. Like, I like this power-up a lot. Because it lets you do this. Also, you get... You do get little indicators on where you're grappling and where you're going to get pulled to. If you just, uh, well like tap so you have that indicator that those indicators are everywhere around here to basically say hey here's where you, here's where your uncle cuz you're following your uncle around basically this is where your uncle used your grab used their grapple so okay so the symbol lights up when you're in grapple range but yeah like if you look on rocks around this place the grapple it'll device left a sort of Symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. That right there, because the game just said it right there, but basically, you don't have to do what the game says. Like, it's it's telling you, hey, grapple here, because that's where you're supposed to grapple. Uh, no, I feel like grappling over here. So you can still do your own thing, but that's just like, that's basically the, well, if you want to get through this game without dying, this is probably where you want to aim. It's nice. It's basically for, it's for those few people that are just, it's for those few people that play a game kind of like this, and they're like, okay, well, how do I do it? Where do I go? How do I do the thing? Yada, yada. 
this game is just kind of like, well, people who are like that, they can follow our example. People who aren't like that, they can... Do I have to land on that floating island? God damn it, I do. Coming in! And I see this down here. But yeah, so... It's just, um... Well, it's a precautionary step. So that way people, they don't alienate people who... So they don't alienate the people who want to play this game as their own will, but will also... Yeah, but also lets the people who are explorative be explorative. I don't know. It's nice. I like it. I liked it when I first played it, and I like it, and I still like it. I liked it when I first played it, and I still like it now, and I think they I think they polished up on it in uh, patches and whatnot to make it even more so like that. Just like a... suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. It lets you still explore, but it lets you still explore, but you, you know, gives you... Whoops. It still is an example of... What am I trying to say? It's an example of letting you do what you want and doing what the game wants and coinciding with each other so that way neither you nor the developer are alienated by each other's actions. Alonzi! Woo! But do have to be careful. Um, where's the spawn supposed to land, by the way? Oh, that's it right there. Cool. But no, this game, this game kind of, I want to say this game kind of spoke, speaks to a lot of child, of uh, child in us. No offense to people who are cla classified as children. But I mean, there's a lot of us who have the child in us, you know, where we wanted to go on these fantastic journeys and voyages. We, we wanted to go to these strange places, even like... Even during our playtime, we would do this kind of thing. And this game kind of... I couldn't figure it out when I first play, played it on uh, the Think Fast segment. But I think my I think I finally pegged, uh, pinned it down and pegged it just now. Is that this, ca this game lo will, um, is playing off of that drive or that want of... <clears throat> excuse me. The drive from our childhood of, well... I'm going to go on an adventure. And in my head, it looks like this. On paper, it looks like nothing. Okay, nothing. I'm going to keep on searching, by the way. I'm going to be stubborn. I'm going to be searching and exploring and everything. But that will have to be the end of our adventures for today. So, everyone, thank you all so much for your time in this Let's Play of A Story About My Uncle. Tune in next time when we will explore the rest of these caves and meet some new friends. Hopefully. I'll see you folks then.